was life changing stuff for, for me and for the guys in the band. And we were only there for four days, right? Imagine yeah. what it's like being there yeah. and living through it for years, okay? In the middle of you know having your entire life and your family and your world shattered, to be able to have Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden, <clears throat> they were so excited. It was so important. It was so like a mythical thing for them to get to. And still to this day, it, it remains an, an event there that, that really has not been forgotten. It was a really, uh, I wouldn't say a turning point event, but it was a seminal event in their, you know, in their youth. Of um, and, and because, you know, this is what, it's the most extreme version of what music is to all of us. You know, it's our soul. You know, it's when I listen to music that I love, it's my personal time. My, you know, it's a, it's, it's a nourishing, healing thing. This was... I mean, Bruce, Bruce told me, and you can see in the documentary that's well worth watching because it is brilliantly done, is that, you know, like in most shows, there'll be a line of people outside, you know, waiting to get their tickets, mm -hmm. you know, to clip to come in. This was groups of three and four people running from, the, from across the street while being shot at to get into the show. I mean, this was, an ex this was not just a rock show. This was an event that occurred in a war.